KTM 300 build. Will she fire up? We're gonna find out soon. Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron and today we are going to find out if this KTM 300 Slovakia build, this is 2012 KTM 300, if she fires up after full complete restoration, we are in the phase right now where I think we can finish it today to the point that we can hit this button right here. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> it's the first time I'm gonna have a uh, two stroke that has a starter, so I'm getting used to it. Alright, so we're gonna hit the button today and see what happens. We have quite some work to do today. I have here my... This is my new airbox. Uh, you see everything is white because my old plastics are white. So I actually had to remove all the hardware from my old airbox because these new airboxes, they, they just come plastic. There is nothing included. So everything, like this battery holder for example that goes here, I had to remove from the old airbox or this rubber piece also that goes right in here where you connect your carburetor that I have to remove. Also this little thing that will hold your uh, air filter in. Everything I had to remove from the old airbox so we're gonna install that. Make sure that our new airbox is bulletproof, it's good. And after that uh, we're gonna use our new uni air filter, install it. I'm not gonna oil it today because I'm just starting it in the garage. It will just run for like uh, 10 seconds. I'll make sure that bike is running. I'm gonna oil it once I'm breaking this bike in. I don't wanna get all messy today. And then uh, we need to install our, our exhaust, finish that. And also some wiring. This right here, this little tray is for our CDI box. We need to connect that, finish the wiring here in the back and make sure that we have spark first of all. Then we're gonna put all the fluids in uh, our coolant, our oil tank, our premix, and then hit the button and see what happens. Man, I'm really excited. This is the time, this is the, the video that I'm always a little bit nervous because you know we did a lot of work to the engine, to the bike, to everything. So hopefully everything works the way it's supposed to.
Next very important step is to check if we have a spark. So I took the spark plug out, I'm gonna put it inside and then touch the ground and see if there will be a visible spark. Hopefully we can capture it on the camera. I turn off my light so it's more visible. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. Can you guys can you guys see? We have a nice spark. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. My only air filter is in. Actually, I had to take the battery out because uh, it didn't have a good charge. I need to charge it. It was sitting in a box for like six months. So I took it out. It's charging on, the, on my bench over there. We are going to install the rear fender so then we can finish installing our air box from both sides. And then also we're gonna install the exhaust. Put the oil in and I guess that's it. And then we can hit the button. They say it was true that I was sold. But the trouble with truth is it just don't get old There's a gravity to grace I can't escape And the trouble with grace it gives more than it takes Yeah, I need grace that gives more than it takes There's a world guys we are almost there just need to put in some fuel and then ah, I'm getting a little bit nervous a little bit shaky but I think that's good make sure we have enough All right, that should be fine. We're gonna pray shortly and then let's hit the button. Amen. All right. Ah! This P3 carbon thing is really cool on the tank. Things don't look bad, right? All right, so, pull the choke up. Let's see. All 
Uh, I think the battery is still weak. Alright, now we're gonna start to kick it. I don't know, I'll switch it on the reserve. Alright guys, so the bike wouldn't start, I kept kicking it uh, for a long time, I went through all the wires, I went through everything, I make sure that I have spark, I make sure that I have, I'm getting fuel, and it just wouldn't start, uh, the battery is dead, so I just keep kicking, and then before I took everything apart, I gave it the last, uh, <laughs> last one more shot, I went full throttle, I turned off the choke and everything, maybe it's uh, loaded, and I kept kicking, and I could hear uh, it was uh, firing up, so I put on my boot, Let's kick it down and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I took out the spark plug. That's, that's what happens if you are too excited. I only have five minutes left on the, on the video. Hopefully we can make it run until we are done. Uh, today, uh, this video, this this bike, it's uh, it's giving me some headaches. So, not so easy going, but we can make it work. All right, let's go. Thank God, <laughs> man. Oh, I was getting really nervous. Uh, yeah, I turned off the camera and I was going through everything and I was like, man, that's, that's not good. So, thank God this thing is working. I guess we just had a lot of oil from uh, assembly. Everything was very oily and then uh, it just got loaded and uh, it formed my plug and it wouldn't start. So I put new plug in, I went full throttle and keep kicking it and it fired up. She runs, that's all I wanted to accomplish today. We can play more with the jetting. Uh, she needs to run a little bit, you know, to, to get to that optimal uh, optimal sta uh, stage where you're supposed to be running good. So, uh, yeah, bike is running. That's what we're going to accomplish today. Again, it uh, was, a, was a little tough video today, but we made it. All right, my friends, well, let me know below in the comments uh, what you think, how the bike looks so far. We are, I would say, now 80% done. We probably need one more video. We can finish everything and then show it to you guys. All right, my friends, well, that's about it for today. Let me know below in the comments, and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.